Welcome back to Shields Up, home network safety for the rest of us. Smart home devices like cameras, speakers, and thermostats make life more convenient, but they can also pose security risks if not properly secured. Today, we'll walk through simple steps to protect your IoT devices and safeguard your privacy. This series is based off of my new book. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll have a link in the description for you. It's titled, of course, Shields Up home network security for the rest of us. IoT stands for the Internet of Things, and this is usually a term used to refer to smart devices. IoT devices are often the weakest links in a home network. They collect data, connect to the Internet, and often have poor default security. Hackers can exploit those vulnerabilities to spy on you, steal data, or gain access to your entire network. But don't worry, with a few adjustments, you can enjoy the convenience of smart devices without compromising security. Start by changing the default login credentials for your smart devices. Many come with factory set usernames and passwords like admin or 1234. Hackers know these defaults and use them to access devices. This sounds extremely simple, but you would be surprised at the astonishing number of devices out there that keep the default credentials in place after going live. Log in to the device's app or web interface and set a unique and strong password. This simple step makes a massive difference. Next, Always keep your devices up to date. Manufacturers release firmware updates to fix security vulnerabilities and improve performance. Set yourself reminders to check for updates monthly or enable automatic updates if your device supports that. Guest networks are a great way to isolate your IoT devices from your main network. This prevents hackers from gaining access to your primary devices like your phone or laptop, even if your IoT device is compromised. So the guest network is not only for guests. Think of it as a digital wall that separates your more sensitive devices from the more valuable ones. Many smart devices come with features that you probably don't even use, like remote access or voice purchases. Turn off any features that you don't need in order to minimize potential entry points for hackers. While you're at it, limit how much data the device collects and shares by reviewing its privacy settings. Keep an eye on your devices. Tools like Fing or your router's interface can show you what each device is doing. Look out for unusual activity, like a device sending a large amount of data to unknown servers. If you notice anything strange, Disconnect the device and reset it to its factory settings. Let's go over what not to do. One, don't leave default passwords on your devices. Two, don't connect IoT devices to your main network unless you have a really compelling reason to do so. Three, don't skip firmware updates. Four, don't enable features that you do not need. By avoiding these mistakes, you can significantly reduce the risks associated with smart devices. All right, let's recap. Change the default settings on your smart devices. Keep firmware and software updated. Use a guest network to isolate IoT devices. Disable unnecessary features and adjust privacy settings. Monitor device activity regularly. Smart devices make life much easier, but they also come with risks. With these tips, you can enjoy the convenience of IoT technology without sacrificing security. In the next video, we'll focus on the importance of keeping everything updated from your router to your devices. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you there.